Hello guys and in this video we are going to learn why your junior your senior or maybe your colleague is making more money compared to you. Now I'm not saying that you're not skilled enough. We are going to discuss in detail what could be the reason and what are the actionable steps you have to take. Okay, first of all, let's discuss one of the most important aspect of salary, which is basically some of the myths. So one of the first myth is that I I'm working from last X years. I'm working from five years. I'm working from four years, maybe three years or two years. That is why I deserve a better pay. Well, this is not the case. Companies are not going to pay you because you have you, you've been working from X amount of years because obviously it depends upon how much value you are adding to the company so that they can actually uh, like uh, provide the value to the client. So this is the something this is something which you have to understand. It is not something that I'm working from last X years. That is why I deserve a raise. Second myth. A lot of people have that I have X amount of experience in the industry and that is why I deserve a raise. Now here are two things. If your experience is relevant, what is being asked, obviously you deserve a raise. But if you don't have the relevant experience, obviously you cannot get, get a raise or I should say you are not going to make more because obviously if that's something which you already know is not worthful for the client or the company, obviously they, they don't have any reason to actually pay you extra. Myth number three, a lot of people have that I am a hard working person. My boss is asking me that I have to work in holiday. My boss is asking me that I have to work on the weekends and I'm not ignoring his request. I'm constantly working as per his requirement. I'm a quite hard worker and that is why I feel that I should get a raise. Well, obviously this is also a myth because working hard does not mean that you're actually adding these values. I'll give a very simple example. Let's talk about a cricketer. If he is doing all the net practice 16 hours a day and when he faces the real, I should say, international challenge and he gets out at the first ball, do you think people are going to like him? No, it does not matter how much hard work you're doing. It matters how much results you are actually producing. The fourth myth of the industry is that there is no growth in IT industry. Now, a lot of people may agree to that. A lot of people may not agree to that, but I am someone who is not going to agree to that because one thing which I'm pretty much sure after this pandemic, the only industry which has not slowed down, it is the IT industry. You may be working in a certain position which does not have any growth because that technology or the skill set is no more relevant. So you can say that this, this IT industry is not growing, but obviously if you're upskilling yourself, if you have the latest relevant skills, this is something which you are going to totally deny. Okay, now let's discuss what are the steps you should take if you want to actually grow your salary. If you want to increase your salary, what is the actual actionable steps you should be taking? So first actionable step is obviously upgrade your skills. Now, I will emphasize again, having right set of skills which are relevant for the industry is actually going to give you the career boost which is required. If you don't know what are those right set of skills, if you don't know what is going to suit you, obviously you should reach to our counselors or I should say experts who are going to guide you. But if you don't have the relevant skill, if you're confused that you should go to this, you should go to this. And if you don't know what exactly is the right path, if you're going to choose a wrong skill set, that is going to be a problematic skill. So please make sure that you upgrade your skills and not just skills, the relevant skills which are actually right now required in the industry or they are trending in the industry. Now, the second actionable step is obviously having an owner mentality. With owner mentality does not mean that you have to pay the salary of your juniors. It does not mean that you have to worry about everything. It means if a certain responsibility comes to you, you can actually show that you are the right person. What does that mean? Let's say if a new project comes to you and if you don't have that relevant skill, if you don't know that, you can actually start learning that particular technology if I may or I should say skill set and you can show to your seniors you can show it to your uh, like I would say colleagues that even if you don't have the right set of skill set you are actually growing now this is something only comes from the owner mentality now I want to mention one thing a lot of people feel like a company should give me the training which is required for me to work on this project that is okay the company does that because this is the responsibility of the company but if you show that you have the owner mentality obviously that is seen as a huge bonus by everyone who is working in the company third actionable step is obviously if you're planning to get a raise you should not go to your company you should not go to your senior and say hey i need a raise you should go and you should discuss your goals 
Your goal could be that I want to buy a house in next two years. Your goal could be that I want to buy a car in next one year. Your goal could be that you want to buy, like you have certain goals, you want to travel somewhere or maybe something like that. And the way you are working, it you feel like it is not going to help you achieve that dream or I should say goal. So you should go to your senior and discuss like this is the kind of goal I have for myself. This is the kind of career growth I'm looking for. And then your team or I should say your company or your HR is going to let you know what you can do to actually make this goal achievable. So you have to understand one thing that if you talk to your company, that is going to be the biggest advantage for you because you can have a mutual discussion. You can have mutual understanding like this is something I'm expecting out of myself and this is something in return I want. So obviously company will understand, okay, this person is actually eager to grow and we can actually work with him because he is a long runner. Now the fourth, I would say actionable step for you is to is related to feedback. You should take feedback constantly. If not weekly, let it be monthly because you can track yourself that you are in the right step or not. Let's say your senior asked you, your team leader asked you that you we want you to gain these kind of skill set. Go to them. Hey, am I achieving what you are re requiring from me? Am I suitable for the next project which is coming up? Am I doing the right path or am I in the right path? They will obviously give you a genuine feedback. If not, you can obviously go to HR and you can ask for the feedback. This feedback is only going to help you. You can find out that if from here you want to go here and if you're taking this step, you should actually take a turn and go to that particular location because this is what you're expecting and this is what your goal is. Okay, the final step is obviously start working smartly. Now, this is very, very broad. What do I mean by working smartly? Well, let's say you are a Java developer right now. You're working on Java or I should say .NET. And you feel like that there are other opportunities available for you. You want to grow yourself, but you're not able to find something. You should actually look into your company. What are the different projects your company is doing? And you should feel like, okay, if this is the ideal position for me, talk to that person. Hey, you're working in this particular technology. I want to work in this particular technology. What is the right step? Those people, I would say your company colleague are going to tell you all the right steps, if I may, plus the smart steps as well. Why? Because they have already made those mistakes and they won't, uh, I would say they won't uh, like tell you all the, uh, I would say the difficult part because they have already taken those and they will tell you, okay, this is the easiest way or the fastest way you can actually learn from. Obviously, if you don't have anyone, you can actually watch our channel. We have few interviews available with us where you can actually watch, watch those interviews. Then the most important question which we ask is what is one mistake you would avoid with which you could have grown your career faster. So obviously watch our interviews. So finally, I would like to conclude that if you're going to work smartly, it is going to benefit you a lot in the longer run compared to not working smartly and just doing what is supposed to be done or maybe ask you to get it done. So that is it for this video guys. In case if you have a question, put that in the comment of this video. And if you need a career guidance related to what is the right path for you, obviously in that case, there is a link which is given in the description of this video. Click that link, fill in the details and someone from our team will assist you with your right career path.